Hi, this is Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to get more clients on LinkedIn. Now, the first tip is that you have to turn your LinkedIn profile public, including all the relevant fields, such as your profile picture and your full name. When you're starting creating content on LinkedIn, your post has a high probability of being recommended to people outside of your network. That has a huge potential and allows you to reach people who are ideal clients and makes it why LinkedIn is such a powerful marketing platform. But when your profile isn't set to public, people will only see a gray icon for your profile picture and your name might be shortened and they might not be able to see all the information if they're outside of your network. So it's really important that you turn your profile public, make your profile photo public and turn all the different sections public. This also has another benefit that your profile can actually be indexed by Google, meaning it can be found when someone is Googling your name, which is really important for SEO purposes. So you can rank your website and your LinkedIn profile on the first two or three positions on search results. The second tip is that you should write less formal. This might take a little bit of time, especially if you have been used to writing business or corporate style letters and email throughout your entire life. But on LinkedIn, less formal works best that makes you more relatable people can connect better with you you don't sound like a pr marketing department and people really want to connect with other people they don't, they don't want to read some business brochure that has been written by a professional corporate copywriter so the less formal you can be the more relatable you are the more engagement you're going to attract for your content and the more engagement you're going to get, the more organic reach you're going to get. And that's another chance and increases dramatically the chances that your content will be seen by more potential customer, which increases the number of client inquiries and will help you get more business on LinkedIn. Now, tip number three is you have to learn how to do small talk on LinkedIn. A lot of times when people send you a connection request, it will be without any message. And even if you accept their connection request, there will be no follow-up message. You really have to see that this is your responsibility to get a conversation started. And the best way to do that is to do a little bit of small talk. One way that you can do this is by looking at someone's profile and looking for interesting details that are standing out to you that you could point out. That achieves a couple of things. One, it shows that you actually spend some time reading their profile and you have a genuine interest. It also has the highest probability of getting a reply by talking about something that the person seems to be passionate about. If there is nothing in their profile, maybe check out the activity feed. Maybe they have published some content. If that doesn't work, you can still have a little Google check, see if they have a website, if, if there is any news that you can find about the person and just make something like a unique statement, point something out that they seem to be really proud of or that is really something interesting to you. And you will notice that you get much better results Results, especially when you are doing content marketing on LinkedIn, publishing high quality um, posts to attract clients organically on LinkedIn. If you want to learn how to do that, you can also check out my LinkedIn Leads Bootcamp. It's a 21 day program that teaches you exactly how to build an entire LinkedIn content marketing strategy from scratch. Link in the description and in the pinned comment below. There is also another link where you can download my free LinkedIn hashtag guide that shows you exactly how to find the right hashtags to boost your organic reach of your content. If you want to get more videos about LinkedIn, make sure that you smash the like button so the algorithm knows that you want to see more videos like this in your newsfeed. Hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and I'll see you next one. Bye.